The gunman in the main shooting massacre has been found dead. It ends a two-day extensive manhunt that left several towns under shelter-in-place orders and an entire state on edge. Authorities say they found the gunman near a river in Lisbon Falls, about 10 miles south of the massacre in Lewiston, where they say he killed at least 18 people at a bowling alley and a bar. Police say he died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. We're also learning more about the victims, who ranged in age from 14 to 76. Elaine Quijano is in Lewiston. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Jeff. For nearly two days, this community was on lockdown, with residents on edge as authorities searched for the shooter. The manhunt may be over, but right now a grim reality is just setting in for the victims' families. And a warning, these details are difficult to hear. I also know that his death may not bring solace to many. But now is the time to heal. Authorities say the shooter's body was found in Lisbon Falls, about 11 miles southeast of Lewiston, with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Officials say they notified the victim's families first. It's about my sister. You know, it's not about the shooter. Bobby Nichols hadn't gone bowling with her sister, Trisha Aslan, in 35 years. But they'd wanted to spend more time together, so Bobby went on Wednesday night. About an hour after arriving, she heard gunfire. I turned, I looked, and I could see the gun. I never seen his face or what he was wearing. All I seen was a gun. We're running. And you got bowling shoes on. You cannot. So we're like all falling. We're running and we're falling. And it's dark. She ran with the crowd until they got to a fence. I don't understand. Why is this happening? I want to know where my sister is. I want to know where she is. I want her out here. And I couldn't see her. Her sister never made it out. Somebody that got out last said, Trisha called. She called 911. And that's how she called because she was calling to save other people. She was a hero. She is a hero. My sister is a hero. And she would do anything for anybody. She walked in the breast cancer 60K mm -hmm. walk every year mm -hmm. to raise money for breast cancer. And she's never had breast cancer. She was the most unselfish person you would ever meet. What would she say to you right now? She would tell me, you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm with Dad. And I know she would say, I know we wanted to do more, but that's OK. Because we were together. We were together that night. And I'll never forget it. Bobby wants to start a sports scholarship in her sister's name. Trisha Aslan loved sports. She made regular trips to Boston to watch her Bruins and Red Sox play. She leaves behind a son, Brandon. As for the investigation, we are hoping to hear more details as authorities continue their work. Michelle. Elaine, thank you so much. Um, Elaine tells us that, that she was also a super fan. And when she couldn't make it yeah. to the games, in person, she would yell at the television set. I can imagine, my grandmother used to do that all the time. And in addition to that, that scholarship, she, she hopes that the students who, who win the scholarship will say out loud her sister's name, so, so to speak it out loud, their thoughts, their prayers, and their hopes and dreams. And I think after a tragedy like this, that's what you want, is the victims of this to be remembered and not the person right. who caused this. Part of this nightmare is finally over right. because he's been found dead. But yeah, the recovery will continue forever for so many.